So I'm going to a jazz game tonight. My birthday was on January 7th. Today's February 4th. This is a late birthday gift for me from my family and my wife, Taylor. So my whole family's coming. The only people that aren't coming are my niece and my nephew. I don't know. I'm going to miss them. They're cute. They're cute little kids. Tonight, the Jazz are going to be playing the Toronto Raptilians or something like that. I don't know. I don't watch basketball. Who knows? Game time is at 7 o'clock. And my brother-in-law, Zach, is also coming. We're going to be taking the front runner. They don't allow cameras like mine in the arena, so I guess I'm gonna have to film on my phone. It could be boring, who knows? We'll just see how this goes. So yeah, if the audio and the filming tonight's bad, it's because of the crappy phone, and they won't allow good microphones in there, so. These transitions are getting weird. It was a crazy rush to get on the train. We barely made it. The train was pulling up as soon as we freaking got to the station. It was really freaking cold outside. All right, we just got off the train, headed to the Jazz Arena. It starts. It's a freaking video. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the big cities, but it always looks like they've been through war, I swear. It's crazy. Who's gonna win tonight, dude? I hope the Jazz. I think they've won every game I've been to. Yeah, it's usually been like close at the end, too, so I'm hoping that like it won't be a close game. What do you think? Who's gonna win? <laughs> I feel like that's a hard one. I definitely want it to be the Jazz, but I don't know how the Raptors play. My hope is that Larry Martin pops off. We'll see. I cannot wait to see you fall. <laughs> I just need to try and see who won't fall first. Or who will fall first. You have pretty good balance. You have better balance than I thought you would. Dude's walking in his <laughs> When we start, she's gonna fall so hard. <laughs> That's what you got me with disappointment. Literally went. <laughs> have you been like ready? This is Jazz Arena. Vivint Arena is so cool. It's honestly such a cool experience. If you ever get the chance to go, you should. I know that NBA All-Star Weekend's happening there, so a lot of you will probably be going there. Who knows? At least watching the game there. NBA All-Star game. All the All-Star activities. Team store is full of merch. They had an NBA player shoes. They had like Rudy Gobert shoes, Joe Ingles shoes. I didn't get video of that, but it was pretty cool. And even though the jazz colors are just janky, I think their court looks pretty sick. Uh, jazz win by four. 118, 114. Who's the leading scorer in total? Both teams. I think the point guard from the Raptors will. I think they'll have like 37, 38. Really? 106 to 104. For who? We're 106, they're 104. Our seats for the second highest row in the arena. I feel like we can touch that. My game prediction is 120, 108. Laurie Martin is going to go off. Alright, just barely got a churro, a pretzel, and it costs us 12 bucks. This guy was the halftime show, and man, was he elegant. Keeping it close. Yeah! Yeah! Let's freaking go! My hope is that Larry Markman pops off. Oh, baby! Walker Kessler has seven freaking walks, and there's still four minutes left. Oh my god. 
shock towards freaking 119 and 125. They still got four point game, 30 seconds left. Good defense. Say that's game over, but if we don't get on this next train, we have to wait a full hour, and the train comes in like 40 minutes, so it's kind of a time crunch. It was like 10 degrees outside, so we did not want to wait an hour in the cold. All right, Jazz game ended. We won. Now we got to run and catch a train. My favorite player is Powder. All righty, here's the rush. Right here. We're all together, waiting for the tracks. Let's make it to the front runner. 131, 128 Jazz. Well, gosh dang it, I wasn't as close as I thought I'd be. And who has, who was the leading scorer? How many points did Van Vliet have? 34, and you guessed 37. Uh, 34 points, 12 rebounds, and 10 assists. Holy crap, how about Markinen? Markinen, 28 points, uh, 13 rebounds, 1 assist. Okay, and then Kessler again? 17 points, 1 assist. 13 rebounds and 7 rebounds. That's insane, dude. It's your first jazz game, Taylor. <laughs> right as we were there, waiting for our bus to take us to the train, there was a homeless guy who came and started trying to fight me, and it was, it was pretty interesting. All right, just barely made it over here. Just kind of packed, had a fun interaction with someone. Someone who was trying to, uh, I don't know. All right, so obviously I'm home from the game. It was a fun time, honestly. I will say if you ever get the chance to experience a lower bowl NBA game, that is the way to do it. But the seats that we had last night were still fun. It was way fun to be with family. It was cool. The story that I didn't really get to at the end was there was a homeless guy who started walking towards my wife and I stepped between him and her just because I didn't want her to have to deal with it if anything crazy was to happen. And I told the guy I didn't have money to give him what he needed, which I wasn't even sure what he needed, to be honest. But I straight up didn't have any cash. I didn't have any money on me. And when I said no, he instantly started insulting me, saying F you, calling me crazy words. And I was just telling him to leave. And we finally got on the bus. And then he jumped on the bus and started saying more stuff. And he, like, got off. It was, it was a fun situation. I feel like I'm used to it from different experiences I've had in my life. All in all, it was a great time, though. I know this might have been just a, a little bit of a boring video, but I feel like I just need to be posting stuff, you know? I need to be posting stuff, so I figured I'd post this. And it's really hard, honestly, to try and film stuff at a game when you don't have a good camera, and my camera on my phone is pretty terrible. I'm really debating if I should do something for All-Star Week and if I should go to Salt Lake City. I'm not sure. It would be a dream of mine to be able to, to be able to afford tickets, but they're like thousands of dollars right now just to get into the NBA All-Star game. I could probably get into like a Rising Stars game for cheaper, but it's still expensive. So if you feel like you'd like to see me doing something like that or try to meet some Uber, or try to meet some YouTubers like Cash Nasty, Chris London, something like that, let me know. I'm up for any sort of thoughts. So thanks for watching this video. Check out my channel for more. I'll be posting for sure a few times a month. So subscribe if you're new. If you enjoyed the video, there's going to be better videos coming out soon. Thanks.